right, guys, welcome to episode two of Weather Time. We're going to have a very, very special day for you guys. Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q? Really? What is this, 2014? God, we're f***ing Cardi. And we actually have a new intern. Hey. Everybody give it up for Jordan. It's his first day. Dude. All right. This doesn't even fit my neck. My God. This job is so f lame. He's new. He's new. This is his first job, so. Yeah, I couldn't find a place more lame. It's kind of like Cardi, where, like, the albums are, like, you know, it's not lame, but it's like, yeah. Clearly, he's a Playboy Cardi fan. <laughs> I have his number, too. Yeah, I'm actually going to be signed to Opium pretty soon. Yeah. I just bought some Rick Owens, like, the other day. So not lame. They're so rad, dude. Hey, uh, Jordan, you mind grabbing me a coffee? Cardi's not gonna be there, but uh, yeah, ice, ice, ice coffee, yeah, cream, ten sugars. But uh, all right, we're gonna have a a Ron give right. you guys the weather for all today. Right. All right, come on, come on, come on, that's enough. What did I say last time, bro? That's enough. No one Let's cares. Get, get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, man. Jordan, God. glad to have you in, buddy. Glad to have you in. Welcome to the job. Let me just uh, let me get my spray on, you know. Ugh, like I said, you know they don't pay me enough for this, so. We're here, another episode, episode two. Uh, how's the weather? How's the weather, you ask? <laughs> oh, do we have some stuff to talk about, bruh? Where do I begin? Schoolboy Q. God, where the fuck is Cardi? We're, we're gonna get into Cardi. <laughs> Don't worry about that, trust me. Coming off his last project, which was five years ago, by the way, very underrated project. I don't care what anybody says, super hard it's probably like three songs that are skips but there's only 14 tracks and most of them slap so yeah we've waited five years so uh was it worth the wait we're gonna talk about it so uh shit the first track funny guy <laughs> funny guy <laughs> funny how this track is boring as shit okay intro eh. Eh. the song pop with rico nasty it's pretty good it's pretty good you could argue that could have started off the album rico definitely did better than schoolboy q on that track great performance good song good song uh what are some other highlights uh thank god for me in my opinion should have started the album banger banger that shit should have started the album would have been fire would have been a dope way to open it but no we didn't get that uh blue sides and yearn 101 dope tracks pretty good Good songs. Lovebirds, calm, smooth track, cigar in your hand, cruising down the street kind of track. That kind of seems to be the theme for this project. Very mellow, very calm, very chill, pretty lyrical. Shit, the track Movie, hard. It's a YG ass song, bro. Like West Coast shit. It bangs. It bangs. Uh, Foe, I believe it's called. Marijuana ass titties, pussy hoe, whatever. Eh, that's a skip for me. Back in Love, though, that was the single, which I thought, he tricked me, bro. He tricked me. I thought this whole project was going to have this type of vibe. Fire-ass beat. This is the schoolboy cue that I wanted. That's the thing. Coming into this project, I don't really know. I didn't know what I was getting into, really. Like, I didn't really know what I wanted. You know, because Schoolboy Q is very, he's pretty diverse. You know, you don't really know if you're going to get a, like an introspective kind of song or a banger, whatever. But this song is probably the best song on the project for me. Uh, Lost Times is a bop, deep lyricism, good chorus, beat is hard. Time Killers, good lyrical, introspective track. I'm feeling that one. Pig Feet, it's definitely on some XXXTentacion shit. Jordan, I know you're Because tonight fan. might be Stop the playing. night that the I will fall slapping. for That's you. That's like a good concert track. Uh, the What is it? The song with Freddie Gibbs? It's all right. And the album ends with a smooth, quick track, happy-go-lucky kind of vibe. Overall, look, all jokes aside, I've only heard this project, you know, in full once today when I was at the gym because, you know, <laughs> weatherman got to get his gains in. It seems like a project that is going to be a sleeper. For sure. It's kind of like his testing, in a way. Um, it's going to be an album that years down the line, people are going to go back to it and like, yo, we slept on this, or it's underrated, or it's going to age like fine wine. But for me, 
first listen, I don't know. It ain't it ain't really rocking my socks like that. It's really only like four or five songs where I feel like this is it. You know what I'm saying? So like 18 tracks is cool. I mean, that's fine. You know, we've waited five years. It's an hour long. But I don't know. It don't really tickle my pickle. It, yeah. I don't know, uh, we're coming in at 75 degrees on this one. Mm, you might need a hoodie, maybe a thin one. There might be some wind here and there. The humidity is kind of around 70 degrees. You know, it ain't too hot, but it ain't, it's not that bad outside, you know? So for this one, if you want, you can wear a crew neck. It's up to you. You can wear a long sleeve tee. Definitely, I don't know if you want to rock shorts. That's on you. That's on you, but uh, Schoolboy Q. Yeah, 75 degrees for that one. Next we have the baby. Yeah, I yeah. You're probably like, what? The baby. The baby drop? Yeah. I went and checked it out. You know what? I was like, let me hear this shit. You know, it's been a while since I actually cared to bump a the baby track. And I was like, let, let me hear it. Maybe he's on maybe he's on some different vibes. I see baby posted at the Grammy party with a stick. The beat is definitely on some different vibes. It's called Grammy Party. This shit kind of slap. I ain't gonna lie. Bruh snapped on this one. Like I said, it's a yeet ass beat. Typical the baby flow. He tweaking with the bars. Shit really hard though, for real. The video is dope. Do I see this song sticking or really catching on like that or putting the baby, you know, back on the map? Nah, but this track, you might want to go outside with a tank top for this one. I'm not even gonna lie. We coming in at 85 degrees with this one. Shit, you might need some, you might need some suntan lotion for this joint. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The not baby. even gonna lie, Jordan. Oh my god, dude. Shh. I'd rather but listen to SSG it. Kobe. It's lame. Okay. Uh, everything lame. I'd rather you? listen to Ian Dior. On, we're like, getting into Cardi soon. Something? Don't worry, you're gonna be hype. He's gonna be hype for that one. And god. next we got. Where's Cardi? Jordan, your favorite. Your favorite, dude. Like Cardi I said, B. No Cardi, no party. What? I thought. I, I mean, you're you said you love weather, Cardi. Man. Like you're not. Did really you say lame. no Cardi, no party? We got Cardi B right here. Fuck me, bro. Tweaking. We got Cardi B stealing Missy Elliott's swag. But uh, it's a good song. Usually, I couldn't care less for female rap. I just don't really care for it. But I went and checked it out. Cardi B is back. Cardi B is back and she's back with a vengeance. You could tell she has that swag. She she ready to take over the game again. You watch that music video, she outside. She outside. And speaking of outside, you could probably wear a tank top for this, bro. We coming in at 82 degrees. Good flow, good chorus. It's pretty catchy. Like I said, she's using the Missy Elliott sample, but Ski Mask did it better. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. 82 degrees on that. That's pretty solid. I see you, Cardi. Jordan. Jordan. It's not lame. Trust me. Uh, last but not least, Kid Leroy. The Kid Leroy. Dude, no one cares. You want the job or not? I didn't get an I intern money, to dude. go back and forth with you, Chief. All right? And don't worry. I'll get you a new choker, bro. The Kid Leroy. Coming off a track from his documentary, which I actually haven't seen yet, but I probably will. Probably not. But... Let me know in the comments if I should. I'm just saying, but uh, this track, man, his voice is way different now. The last time I really cared to like go out of my way to listen to a Kid Leroy track, I don't know, the pandemic maybe? Yeah, it had to have been probably like 2020, maybe 2021, but his voice is definitely more mature. The pitch is just different, it's deeper. It's, this is a good song. When I last saw you at the house on the the, the melody, on point. This is a beautiful track. I'm not even gonna lie, this is a beautiful track. If you ask me, 84 degrees, bro. I'm not even gonna, I know it's not hip hop. I know it's not hip hop, but for what it is, it's a good song. It's a good song. But, I need uh, Cardi. I, I know it's not Cardi. Don't get on my bad side. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the weather for today, guys. Hopefully next week, it's, uh, you know, similar. We could go outside, play ball and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, hey, Aaron. Oh, by the way, they didn't have your coffee. They had meth, though. I tried a little bit. Like, because, that you know, that's not lame. You know, took some. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> totally going to get fired. <laughs> me.